Hey everybody, it's Sharon with Threshold Homestead. Welcome to my kitchen, finally. I have been so busy on the homestead. Uh, I really haven't had time to do any videos in the kitchen. And I'm hoping things are kind of settling down just a little bit, so I'll have some more for you guys. So keep watching the channel and see what comes up. You never know. I know that a lot of you come just for the recipes, but my life incorporates so many other things. I have a homestead. It is small, and but I do try to, you know, make a go of it, and that's day to day. I um, I have goats, I have pigs, I have chickens, and all of that takes a lot of time at different seasons of the year. The last season that I've been in has been goat kidding time and getting ready to start up the milk production that is so important to me because it helps me to feel healthier when I have fresh raw milk to drink every day. Now, that's all I'm going to say about the homestead, but you guys always keep me in your prayers because I need them. Life is full as it is, but when you throw in, you know, taking care of animals, as enjoyable as it is for me, it is exhausting at times. So um, do keep me in your prayers. I do try to keep all of you in my prayers, and I am so thankful for each and every one of you. Okay, so let's just get on with what this video is about. Of course, you can see that I'm in the kitchen, and I'm getting ready to share a recipe with you that I love. Um, it turned out great, and I hope that if you try it, it will turn out great for you as well. I was invited by Greg at Greg's Kitchen YouTube channel uh, to take part in what he does in March. It's called Marching into Casseroles, and he did one last year, and it was very successful. A lot of people enjoyed the videos. I know I did, and I'm so thankful that I stumbled across uh, Greg, I got to know him in another collaboration, the very first collaboration that I did. So, um, you know, people that you meet day to day and face to face uh, can change your life. But also, you know, I have found that there's a whole world of people that you can meet uh, through social media. And I am thankful for all of those people that I have met. I have learned so much. So without further ado, I would like to thank Greg for inviting me to take part in his uh, Marching Into Casseroles for 2022. And I would invite you all to go back and watch some of the videos from 2021 and to take part um, in this year's uh, collaboration. Uh, he's doing a giveaway, so you can't lose. Uh, his giveaway is a slow cooker, and if you go to his channel and watch his videos, you'll see the slow cooker. I'm going to add this video to the playlist on his channel, and uh, it will also be in a playlist of marching into casseroles for 2022 on my page. So, you know, don't, don't miss any of the videos. I've watched as many of them as I can so far. I, can, I will continue to watch them. We're, you know, getting toward the end of March. So this collaboration will end soon and you'll have time to go back and watch all of them. And, but be, you know, make sure that you get in there on the giveaway. In order to do that, you've got to um, you know, like the video, comment on the video, um, and you can go and comment and like on as many videos as you would like to. He, at the end, when everybody's done their um, videos he is going to uh, do some type of tally you know of all the people who commented and um, and give give away a slow cooker and it's a really nice casserole type uh, slow cooker so you can put all your ingredients in it and at you know when it's done you just pick it up and go to uh, to the table or you can go to any family gathering or church gathering or whatever gathering you want to take it to it's ready so what an awesome gift for him, you know, just the videos themselves that he and his mom have done, the ones that I've watched and all the other um, channels that have taken part in this collaboration, that that is a gift. Um, so the slow cooker is just a bonus. So don't miss out on that. Get those comments and likes in before the end of March. Now, 
I would like for you to, um, you know, if you like this video, uh, let me know if, if there's something about it that you think I missed because I promise you this was not an easy video to do. Uh, my camera cut off a couple of times and I missed and I had to go back and redo. So be patient with me. I am kind of new at this and, but I enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Um, I enjoy cooking. Uh, all of my life I've, I've enjoyed cooking. I grew up watching my mama cook and, you know, then when I uh, got married and had kids of my own, I, you know, cooked all the time. It was more of a necessity, but as each t year rolled around, I found that I became uh, better at cooking, better at uh, substituting recipes. You know, that's the fun part, to be able to go to your pantry. If you've got a stocked pantry and be able to just throw a meal together, to me, that is a great challenge, and I like to rise to that challenge, and I, I think I got pretty good at it. Even though, you know, life is different now, uh, all of my kids are gone, um, and so you know, I'm working, have the homestead, so I have as much time to cook, but I am thankful for the times that I do. Now, I'm going to stop rambling. We're going to get on with this video. I do want to mention some of the other YouTube channels that are taking part in this Marching Into Casseroles 2022 and let you guys uh, hear that. I will add them in the description as well as the recipe that I'm doing for this video. Now, be sure to check out uh, Lori at Whipper Wheel Holler um, and her channel will be listed as well in the, uh, or her link will. Uh, Jenny Go. Prepper, Potpourri, Mennonite Farmhouse, In the Kitchen with Karen, Freedom Homestead, Living the Good Life with Grammy Nene, Helga's Pennsylvania Kitchen, Threshold Homestead, and that's where you are right now. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, Apron Strings, and My Aussie Garden and Kitchen. Now, guys, go check out all of those recipes. I know you will enjoy them. Um, you know, if you can, subscribe to all the channels. That helps them so much. And then if you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell, you won't miss any future videos that are added from those channels. We love you guys and hope all the best for you in the year to come. Have a great spring and may God bless you all. Guys, tonight in this pot, I'm going to start out with this recipe uh, by putting in some olive oil. I'm going to put in one fourth cup olive oil. And in this, I'm going to add one medium onion chopped up. One pound of sausage, the smoked sausage. And I'm cooking this on medium heat. This recipe called for um, a green bell pepper, but as you know, it's kind of hard. You never know what you're going to find when you get to the, the grocery store these days. And so I just got some red, orange, and yellow. 
and chop those up and I'm adding some celery. It's one cup celery, one medium onion, and that was a pound of sausage. About one half to a cup of the bell pepper, depending on how much you like. And I'm just gonna let this cook until the onions are translucent. Just let that cook. Before we add all of the other ingredients. And to me, this already looks pretty good. Guys, I'm just going to remind everyone what I put in this pot because I am not sure if my camera was running when I went through all of it. But I've got one fourth cup olive oil in here, a pound of this smoked sausage, one medium to large onion, depending on your preference. Mine was about a medium, one cup celery. And it's, you know, the onion and the celery, work, I chopped those up. And let's see, the, I didn't have a green pepper, we will, but I did not have a green pepper. When we went to the grocery store to get all of the ingredients, the grocery store was out of green peppers. So I opted for uh, some yellow, red, and orange. And I think it, I think I like it better because I already have the green from the celery. And then that red and orange and yellow just give this, to me, a prettier color. The flavor is going to be the same, pretty much. Okay. Now I'm, those onions are beginning to come around to... A translucent, not quite there, but almost there. Oh, and it smells so good. Okay, those onions are almost translucent. Still, a few of them. I'm going to add two cups of rice. And I'm going to cook this for about two minutes, stirring constantly. that rice to burn. About another minute. And then I'm going to add 32 ounces of broth. And it's chicken broth from the chicken that I cooked for this recipe.
already looks pretty good to me. And then I'm going to add one can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. If I can get this can open. There we go. that up good and we're going to bring this to a boil and we're going to cook it for about 20 minutes okay guys as things go when I was finishing up that recipe earlier, I thought the camera was on. And when I left you last, I told you to let all of the ingredients in the last segment of the video come to a boil. And so that's what I did. And I've redone this recipe up to this point so that you guys can actually see how I'm going to progress with this recipe. And here I'm gonna let this come to a boil and then I'll turn the video on and come back and show you guys what to do next. Okay, so this has come to a boil and as you can see, it's pretty warm there. And the next thing that I'm gonna do I've already added the okra, which is one of the next ingredients um, on the list. And what I'm going to do next, I've got some uh, pre-cooked chicken here. And to this smaller recipe, I'm going to add about a cup of the chicken, which in the larger part of the recipe it called for one and a half pounds cooked chicken cut into bite-sized pieces and it called for one and a half cups of fresh okra and I am adding about the same amount I'm going to turn this down and just let it kind of simmer I'm going to add about the same amount of some ground beef a cup to this smaller recipe and we would add about a cup and a half maybe two cups I think I added two cups to the larger recipe okay we're gonna give this a stir it's all coming together here now this really looks like a good gumbo here Now, I am going to add one tablespoon Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons of Creole seasoning, and one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. And I hate that, guys. Um, when I told you guys in the last segment of the video that I was going to, you know, after adding all the other ingredients, let that come to a simmer and then come back and finish the rest. I thought I had it playing or recording, but it was not. So what I did, I let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Once it came to a rolling bowl, I turned it down and let it simmer for 20 minutes. And then came back and added what I have added here. I added um, to the original recipe 
one and a half pounds cooked chicken, one and a half cups fresh okra, about two cups ground beef cooked, one tablespoon Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons Creole seasoning, and one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. Okay. All right, and this is what it looks like here. It's a really good gumbo, and the way you make this a casserole Get your casserole dish. And this has got some of that chicken kind of dropped in there. And to the casserole, I'm just going to pour this in just like this. And uh, my oven is preheating to 350 degrees. Get all that goodness out. Now I'm not going to let this go to waste even though I've already got the other recipe done. I think I'm going to take this and share it with the family um, that I know. Um, it's just the right size for sharing, I think. So to the top of this, To the top of this, I'm just going to add some. I'm just going to add some shredded cheese over the top, and you can also garnish the top of this with some green onions. And you'll just pop this in the oven and cook it on that preheated in the preheated oven for about 30 minutes until it's you know good and bubbly. And there you have it. This is our chicken and sausage and beef gumbo casserole. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and check back soon. I'm going to be adding some more recipes to the channel and I appreciate you guys so much. May God bless you all. Hey guys, we're at the end of this video and I hope that you were patient with me. There were some hiccups and as you know, true with any hiccup that you have or stumble in the road or boulder in your path, <laughs> you just have to keep going and you have to see the end is going to be good. And I can promise you guys, we enjoyed that casserole and it, it was just a different take on a gumbo, you know, comforting as it is um the casserole was just delicious so i hope you guys will try it and i hope you enjoy it i hope you have a great day and may god bless you all thanks for watching